Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on creating a weather dashboard in Google Sheets. It's a handy tool for checking and making decisions based on the weather in multiple locations. Most weather apps show details for one location at a time, but with a weather dashboard, you can have all your weather data in one place. In this example, I'll guide you on getting weather data from Open Weather Map using its APIs, specifically the one called API 3.0 to retrieve 8-day weather forecasts for various locations. To follow this tutorial, you'll need to get an API key from Open Weather Map. Start by creating an account on the Open Weather Map website. Go to their sign-up page and fill in the required information. The Open Weather Map offers various types of APIs. Out of them, the one call API is the easiest to work with. Once you have an account, subscribe to the one call API 3.0. It's a paid service, but the good news is, you get 1000 API calls per day for free. This is usually more than enough for personal or small scale use. To use the one call API 3.0 services, you'll need to add your payment details. Click on the subscribe button. Fill out the form. Click continue to payment and you'll be directed to a page where you can add your payment details. After successfully adding your payment details, you can view the details related to this service on your dashboard. Here, you have the option to adjust the number of API calls per day. Setting it to 1000 ensures you won't incur any accidental charges. Open Weather Map uses geo coordinates, latitude and longitude, to identify locations. You can easily find these coordinates on Google Maps. Right-click and select the coordinates to copy them to the clipboard. Paste them into Google Sheets and include them in the relevant columns. Now, let's use Google Apps Script to build our weather dashboard. Go to Extensions and click on Apps Script. First, let's clear the existing code and write our initial function, Get Weather from Open Weather Map. Define constants for the API key, sheet name, and location range. Inside the function, create constants for DBS sheet and the location's range. You can use logger.log to print the value in the variable for testing. Let's check the location's constant. When you run the code for the first time, it will require your authorization to access your data in Google Sheets, grant the necessary permissions. Now you can see the location constant contains our latitude and longitude values as required. Likewise, you can test your code while writing. Next, create a helper function to build the API request, using latitude and longitude as inputs. Let's go to the documentation. To make an API call, we need to build our request like this. Let's create another constant for the first part of this URL and name it request URL. Subsequently, we can append query parameters to this request URL. Build the request by adding query parameters to the URL, following the documentation. The one call API 3.0 provides several types of weather data. You can use the exclude parameter to exclude the data that you do not require at this time. Let's define another constant to store the data types that we do not need. Then we can use it to build our API request.
Use the unit parameter to change the unit of measurements. Let's use the metric system. Now we need to provide the API key as the app ID. Let's return the request. Let's build the API request for our first location. Let's create another variable to store the response from Open Weather Map. We need to create another function to fetch weather data. Let's use the URL fetch app class to send a request and retrieve the weather data. We'll wrap this with a try catch to catch any errors. Let's assign this JSON response to the variable we created earlier. Now, we need to parse this JSON response to be used in the code. Let's create another helper function for this. Let's assign this parse JSON data to the data variable. Now we can log the data variable and see what's inside. It seems that some of our changes require authorization again. Grant the necessary permissions. Now you can see we have received some weather data. However, it looks like something went wrong because the response includes all the data. It appears we have a problem with our exclude parameter. Here, we made a mistake. We have added a space between each exclude part, we need to remove them. Let's run the code again. Now we can see a response as we expected. Let's log the weather description and the temperature of the first day. To create the dashboard, we need to loop through each location in the Google Sheet and retrieve the weather data. Let's include this section inside a full loop and iterate through each location. Let's run the code. You can see different temperature data has been logged. This is the temperature of the first day of each location. The data variable contains weather forecasts for 8 days. So, we need to iterate through this data variable 8 times and insert the data into Google Sheets in separate columns. Let's log the temperature data inside another for loop. Let's run the code again. Now you will get 40 different temperatures for all five locations. Inside the inner for loop, let's create a variable for the date. We can calculate the forecast date from the date value in the API response. Now, let's log this date and check the results. The result contains a set of dates for each location in the location range. However, we only need one set of dates to insert into the header row of the dashboard. To handle this, we require another variable. Let's name it first iteration and set the initial value to true. And we need set its value to false at the end of the outer loop. So, it is true only for the first iteration. Let's enclose the date variable with an if condition and execute it only if the value of the first iteration variable is true. Run the code again, and now we are getting only one set of dates. We need to insert these dates into the third row as column headers. These headers are created by merging two columns. We require another variable to calculate and manage the ranges for inserting the data. Let's name it A and set its initial value to 0. We will use this variable to offset the column by 2 when inserting the data. Therefore, let's increment this value by 2 at the end of the inner for loop. To continue with the code, we need another two constants to define the starting range of our dashboard. First, we need to define the starting range of the header row that contains the date. Let's name it header range start. The range is cell D3 to E3. Then, we need to define the start range of the data range. 
The range is cell D4. Let's define new constants inside the function to retrieve these two ranges. Let's insert the weather date to the header row. Since each date occupies two columns, we need to merge these two columns to insert the date. In each iteration, we need to offset the column number by 2 to correctly position the date. This is done by the variable A. Now, let's run the code again. You'll see that the forecast date is accurately added to the header row. Let's assign the temperature value to the temperature variable. To differentiate it from other values, let's add some text and temperature units. Also, add the weather description to the description variable. Let's log both values together, using a new line character to separate the weather description onto a new line. Now, let's insert the temperature and weather data into our Google Sheets. We'll use the iteration number of the outer loop as the first parameter of the offset function, causing it to increment the row by one with each iteration. By providing the variable A as the second parameter, we'll increment the column by two. To conserve space in the dashboard, we'll insert both temperature and weather data into a single cell. Let's run the code. Now we have temperature and weather data in our dashboard for each location for 8 days. Let's add the weather icon to a new variable. Log the weather icon variable to see its contents. It contains only the icon ID. We need to build the icon URL using this icon ID. Let's define a constant to store the base part of the icon URL. Now we can concatenate it with the icon ID and file extension to construct the complete URL leading to the weather icon. Let's log the resulting URL to verify its accuracy. We can then visit the URL in a web browser to confirm its functionality. To insert this image within our dashboard, we'll use the image formula in Google Sheets. Let's first test this manually to ensure it works as intended. We can insert this function at the relevant location using the Google Apps script set formula function. Let's proceed and run the code again. The weather icons have been successfully added to the dashboard. In this dashboard, we have only used the weather date, daily temperature, weather description, and weather icons. You can refer to the Open Weather Map API documentation to add other information as per your requirements. It's not efficient to go to the script editor every time you need to update the weather data. So, Let's create a button in Google Sheets that you can click to update the weather data whenever you need it. To create a button, go to Insert and select Drawing. Click on the image icon. Search for button image. Select an appropriate image. Give it a name. Customize the image to match your dashboard. And then click the Save and Close button. Adjust the button's dimensions as needed. To assign the script to the button, click on the button image and then click the three dots icon in the top right corner. Select Assign Script. Copy the name of your main function and paste it into the text box. Click OK. Now, whenever you click the button, it will run the code and update the weather data in your dashboard. You can also set this script to automatically run at specific time intervals. To do this, go to Triggers and click the Add Trigger button. Choose the main function to run. Select Time Driven as the event source. Choose the type of time-based trigger. If you want to run it daily, 
Select day timer, then set the time of the day. Click save. Now, your code will run automatically at the specified time intervals and update the dashboard. Thank you for watching.